Hi, my name's Jolene. I'm from the facepaintingforumshop.com and I'm going to show you how to use the Always Wicked Art Sponge and Global Bahamas to make a neon watermelon princess. So first you need to load the sponge. Global's very dry so you have to wet the sponge and wet the cake and then usually I load it twice in order to get a nice bright load. Then I will take the sponge and spray it again in order to get it wet enough because Global does require a lot of water. And then you want to be able to see bubbles on top and that when, that's when you know the paint is ready. So you want to use the tip end of the sponge towards the hairline and put that in the center and that gives you the center point of your watermelon crown. Okay, you dab and there's the load. You can go from the middle towards the left and right side of your forehead. Now after this, if you've loaded it well enough, you should be able to use the same load and do your eyelids. So just press, making sure to get the green on the end. Both sides. And after this, you will grab some Fab or Superstar Peacock Shimmer Green. And that gives you the border around the edges. I've depotted mine, so mine's right there at the top. And then you draw a straight line as well as you can from one edge to the other. Usually I like to try to keep this an even thickness since I am going for a little bit more of a realistic watermelon shape. And then I'll go around the outside borders of the eye makeup. On each side. I'm going to use a number three round brush and some white wolf and I'm going to load it real good. What you want to do when you load the white on there so you can get nice even teardrops is you want to roll it through your fingers and get a nice point. You are going to press and pull it up at the edge, press, pull it up at the edge. I'll do a series of several around my eye. Also on the other side. Now on any design like that, you want to start from the middle to give yourself a good focal point in order to do the other teardrops coming from the side. I'll do a series of five. And then I'll take three long teardrops from the edge all the way in. Press and pull, press and pull, press and pull. Okay, you want to check to make sure both sides are pretty even. And after that, you're going to use that green again and outline the white. Just give it a rough outline. You don't have to be too particular with this. It just helps thing tie everything together. Now sometimes you have to reload these shimmer colors if you're using them for outline because they'll get pretty light like there on those last three. So I reload it and I'm going to give a little rough outline to these on top. Okay, 
Okay, I'm also going to outline these ones in the center. As you see, I'm mostly outlining just one side of the teardrop, but the one in the center, I'll use the point to outline the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to use the dryer paint and go around to make the little edge of the rind. If I was painting someone else, I would probably go from one end to the other, but since I was painting myself, I had to go from one side and then on the other side. Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush off. I'm going to use the same brush and wolf black. I load it up real well, and I'm going to do the seeds of the watermelon. I start with one larger one in the center. I'm going to press and flick up. They're just basically very small little teardrops working my way around. And I do the center section first. Whoops, didn't mean to do that, but I'll add it to the design later. Here's the next row. And so I'm putting them right in between the first row. Okay. And I kind of like to vary the sizes of them to mimic what a real watermelon would look like. Now I'm going to do the ones over my eyes. And you'll need to lift up somebody's eyebrow usually or like me, I can lift both my eyebrows up pretty well so I don't need to do that on myself. And I usually do three, maybe one more if the person has really flat eyelids that you can really see very well when their eyes are open. Get that little extra bit of paint off. And then I'm ready for the jewel. So I'm almost done. If I wasn't trying to go slow, this design probably wouldn't take me five minutes or so. I use a little body glue. You can use any kind of tattoo glue that you prefer. I just use what I had in my kit. Put a little bit on the back side, and of course, if you were out in the field, you would have already put it on there in order to let it dry. And then pop a jewel on it, and then you're done. You've got a happy little girl with a bright.